Hey everyone, welcome to Zero Labs. Today is Sunday, July 19, 2015. I'm Mark Brash, your host, and uh, this is another update, update number three on the Keshi Plasma Reactor Project. <music> So you can see beside me I have a couple of containers. One of them has some rags on top of it and this is actually sitting on top of a coffee mug warmer that I'm using to keep the solution inside the uh, container warm and keeping the vapors forming on the plates that I've stacked inside of here. For those of you who have followed any of my tweets, I'll post a link below. Uh, I did take a couple of pictures. Uh, I'm really getting some good good nano coating process going on these plates. Uh, I had uh, Vince from the Keshe Foundation in my chat room the other evening and we were going over some of my techniques and uh, he, uh, he approves of my techniques. So we have the rubber stamp from the Keshe Foundation that I'm doing it correctly. And uh, I've also got my little, uh, my, my kettle here. What I've done instead of following Armin's directions precisely and putting new caustic in the bottom of the containers each time I want to steam the plates. Uh, I simply just take the solution, the caustic solution, which is about 30 grams per liter, and uh, I pour it directly back into the stainless steel coffee pot, reheat it. Once it's boiling, pour it back in, seal it off, let it do its work. I've done that three times to the plates now as well as kept it warm with the with the coffee warmer and you are about to get your first look at the six plates that I've been working on. All right, so let's see where we're at. This is the container that I just showed you and I'm going to turn the coffee warmer off. I should put my gloves on right now because the uh, even the droplets that condense on the top they are caustic. All right. Wow. Wow, all I, that's all I can say is wow. These, um, these look really good. And hopefully uh, give you a good look at these plates here. Let me take the, let me see if I, what the best way to do this is. Oh heck, I'll just um I'll just take the tripod and tip it forward. See if I can give you a good look there. Yeah, there, there's a nice look at the plates. Boy, they look really nice. That's exactly what I was told I should be getting. And that's a uh I'm going to call that a velvety finish. Um, you'll notice in a couple of spots here, like right here, there's a spot where the um, the finish was affected by the zinc on the piece of uh, wire mesh that I used to separate the plates and keep them standing up inside. So next time I'm going to slide that little metal rack over to the side a little bit further so that this is fully exposed when I run the next, uh, the next operation. I think I'm going to steam these one more time. One more time. Uh, this will be the fourth steaming that I, that I give these. And uh, let's show, let me show you how I do that. Incidentally, 
while I've been working on these plates, concurrently I also have about 24 pieces of number 12 solid copper wire in this bath. We are in stage one right now in this, in this container of the nano coating process. Um, preparing these for the energy beads. So I'm trying to keep a number of things rolling so that the, uh, the, the pace of the project doesn't stagnate. Um, so uh, tonight I will steam the plates for a fourth time and I will start giving the, the electrodes for the energy beads their first steaming uh, of the, of the uh, process. So all I do is I just hold this wire in place to keep the plates from shifting around and I take the solution dump it into my pot because this is stainless steel uh, it's not really affected by the caustic so that's not a concern This is only going to take a few seconds to heat up. Incidentally, I do have very good ventilation going right now. I have the overhead fan on full and I have the exhaust fan going to uh, exchange the air in here very quickly. These fumes are caustic. Okay, we're boiling away. And I will rinse this out very thoroughly. And uh, that's it. That's, that's the steaming process. So this is, um, this is steaming number four for the plates. And while we're at it, let's take a look at the copper electrodes that I've begun working on. take this off first. Unlike the example that Armin shows us with his process, these copper electrodes, as did my plates, looked rather, look rather um, spick and span and, and shiny. Uh, it, it's more my feeling that what happens in this stage of the process is that we're actually cleaning the copper, not really nano coating the copper. But uh, the plates that Armin pulled out of solution, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how he got them black by applying this process to the, the copper plates or any copper electrodes. I, I just don't know how he, how he did that. Uh, I would have to say that he went through a steaming and then and then submerged them again. That's the only logical explanation that I can come up with. But um, right now, what I'll do is I'm going to collect all of my copper electrodes out of here. Okay, I've got all of those electrodes out. I'm going to take and just dump out enough to leave a layer on the bottom for steaming and save the rest because obviously, as I have shown, it can be reused. And we're going to repeat this process. The only problem is I will not be heating these yet on the coffee plate. And I'm just going to set these out on the, green, on the grid so as they don't touch each other. All right, so I've got the one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, uh, 
18, 19, 20, 22 electrodes. That should be enough, I hope. Um, give you a look at how I've got them laid out. So there's how I've got all my uh, copper electrodes laid out on the galvanized wire mesh. And now we'll give these a steaming just like uh, just like the others, just like the, uh, the plates. And get these nice and velvety black nano coated as well. I'm going to shift these to the back where I had them before. I don't want to slosh the solution around at all once I pour it in. And now the copper electrodes get steam bath number one. Incidentally, I have uh, just one tiny little pinhole that I made with a thumbtack like this in the top of the lid just to prevent the, uh, the formation of a vacuum. And it allows me to close the lid completely and steam the, uh, steam the plates real well. So uh, now I'm just going to rinse out my pot and wait some more. So that's where we're at. Once the copper plates are finished nano coating, I'll take them and put them into some uh, saline solution with my zinc plates and start forming some CO2 GANs and collecting that for the plasma reactors. Uh, we'll continue to work on the electrodes for the energy beads and I will also be doing a uh, process to the uh, table tennis balls or the ping pong balls that uh, I think is going to work out very nicely. I'm actually going to perform what's called vapor deposition of copper to the inside surfaces of these balls. I'm going to cut the balls in half just slightly off center so that I can take and cup them over one another ever so slightly where I'll get a slight amount of overlap on the seam that I cut around the edge of the ball and um, apply the vapor deposition of the copper to the inside surface of the balls and then nano coat the deposited copper. And uh, that will give me a perfectly seamless copper plated nano coated surface for the inside of my plasma reactors. So as you can see the project is moving along very nicely. If I keep up at this pace I should be producing free energy and levitating the lab any day now. Thank you all for watching. As always please rate, share, comment and subscribe to my videos and peace everyone. <laughs>